tukakuja tukaambiwa mkisebu tio percent unaweza tukasebu watu wengi kama miambili lakini ukweli wa Mungu tulipanikiwa watu 45 ati saa hii mimi naishi kwangu park road hapo town tu natembeanga na Mungu nikienda town pigeni makofi bana <laughs> wow so unataka kuniambia hiyo kikosi yote ya mafundi yenye mlikuwa pamoja nyinyi ni wewe kuna wengine pia wali benefit ya yeah, tu katika hiyo park road mafundi tuko 45 yes wale mix up na wale walikuwa na supplier vitu akina mama yes. akina mama ni 13 na yes. au wengine ni ma gentleman yes. wale tulipanikiwa kupata nyumba pale wacha niwaambie kitu hii mpango ni ukweli yes. wajua alikuwa naona kama pesa yetu itapotea serikali iwezi kupotezea pesa tuliona majina yetu ikisomwa saa hiyo na tukaambiwa twende tuchukue funguo saa hii tunaishi kwetu imagine na sisi ndulikuwa mtu wa kushoma saa hii mnaniona niko sub kidogo <laughs> very good makofi tafadhali ya chairman wetu e, kabla nirudi kwako tuko na Mr Muturi here yes sir tell us about wewe mtu hapa hembu umesema wewe unataka kuaspire kukuwa na nyumba yako kabisa tell us uh, naitwa Wilfred Muturi uh, mimi ni hasla ni mtangazaji pia naongea na watu kila siku na kama kuna kitu ambao vijana wana, wanazungumzia sana sasa hivi Hakuna kitu ambacho vijana wengi sana watafurahia kama kuweza kutoka kwa nyumba ya mama yao, kuweza kutoka kwa nyumba ambayo ni ya kulipia na kuweza kuwa na nyumba yao. Actually that is what they want. Na pia wamesema wakasema pia nimewasikiza like two weeks sasa tumekuwa tukiongea. Nataka kujua sasa mnataka nini? Wanasema hata opportunities ambazo tuko nazo kwa sababu tunalima mimi mwenyewe ninalima hapa na pale kidogo kidogo tu. Uh, zile products ambazo wako nazo kwa zile miradi zitakuwa zinaendelea wanataka pia kupata nafasi ya kuuza vitu vyao kwenye hiyo miradi Aa, na kwa hiyo wanasema wako tayari kabisa sasa jambo tu ambalo ni la kuomba hili ni kwamba sisi kwa bahati nzuri mheshimiwa rais tunawazungumzia kwa lugha yao lugha ambayo wanaelewa kabisa kutoka ya hili ya kiembu okay. so na kwa sababu governor alishawaambia kwamba kavinda ni gaka Hmm. Yaani huu ndio wakati. So wanaomba kama sisi tukiweza kupata information zaidi tueleweshwe tu. Sisi pia tuwaeleze tu pole pole mheshimiwa rais. Tueleweshe mpaka tuelewe sisi wote. Alafu tuendelee kabisa. Asante sana. Thank you so much sir. Uh, tell us madam from your organization. How are you participating into this space and what do you think about it? Thank you. Uh, your Excellencies and all the dignitaries, good morning. My name is Isabella Tenai. I work at E4 Impact. E4 Impact stands for Entrepreneurship for Impact. At E4 Impact, we work with the SMEs to ensure that we are able to support them to build enterprises that are addressing the challenges that we are facing. So, Tumbeskia Baneno ya Manyumba is on your opportunities. How are we contributing? How are the SMEs being built? How are we contributing to the national government agenda? So tunafanya kazi na watu wa biashara we have entrepreneurs who wanatumia waste to make um, affordable construction material those are youth who are being created uh, and micro enterprises that are being supported across the ecosystem so we are all contributing and seeing how do we work together with the the government the SMEs and create an environment that can allow these young enterprises to also come up Asante sana labda tufanye closing remarks tuanze na mdosi wetu Kadere hapo Eh, tukimalizia ukiad value history ya affordable housing maneno mingi zimesemwa maneno yako ya mwisho sa maneno yangu ya mwisho nafikiri eh, ile kitu watu wanafaa kuambiwa ni ukweli tufike ule mtu ako mashinani watu waelezwe wapate kuelewa hii maneno hizi nyumba ni za ukweli na pia ningeomba watu wa media sasa ile mnafanya documentary wacha kuleta economist wacha kuleta watu wadosi mtu ambaye anaweza afford mortgage leta pia na wale watu wanaishi pale kwa slums ndio watu wa ndio watu waelewe maisha ya slums ni nini na ile maneno president ameona ndio aanze kujenga hizi nyumba la mwisho wa Kenya wale tumeongea nao hookers sisi ma drivers tuko na nyumba kadhaa pale park road tulipata wale tumeongea nao mahoka pole pole tukua pale tu kwa terminus wamekubali na ile nilikuwa nataka kusema ni kwamba wale watu wengi wanapinga hizi 
hiyo housing mm -hmm. levy yes. ni wale watu ambao wamejenga nyumba zao na wamekuwa wakinyanyaza hawa watu ambao hawana hawana hali haya ni mahasalas na wataki kukosa clients kwa sababu serikali ikijenga nyumba kila pahali nyumba benya nyumba itashuka chini yes. kwa hivyo ni wanabiashara tuangalie hiyo maneno na tunataka tufike pale mashinani hiyo tu ndio tutasema asante. asante sana asante sana eh dosi your final remarks uh, kama mafundi wanawake tumepitia challenges mingi sana tukiwa site kwa sababu ukifika pale unadunishwa unaonekana ni kama huwezi at the end of the day unakosa kazi na wewe kama mwanamke unataka kujiendeleza unataka ku, kuji, 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 kujiendeleza hata kama ni affordable housing wewe pia upate moja lakini kama umeenda pale na unanyanyaswa upati nafasi ya kufa, kufanya kazi hakuna vile utasave kwa hivyo kupitia hii mradi mnaweza tusaidia kama mafundi especially wanawake tupatie nafasi tupatie fursa ili hata sisi at the end of it yes. hata sisi pia tuweze kupata hizi manyumba yes. hatuwezi jenga mahali na tutoke bure